Yesterday, 343 Studios teased the new Firefight Warzone mode for Halo 5 Guardians, and today they opened the doors with a new trailer for the game type. Firefight was first introduced in the spin-off Halo ODST and pitted players against waves of NPC enemies in a survival game type. Halo 5 seeks to recapture the cooperative play with the all-new 8-player Firefight featuring waves of enemies from the Halo 5 campaign as well as other Warzone modes. And since it's tied to Warzone, players can use the consumable rec cards to call in power weapons weapons, and vehicles. Firefight will have a limited beta this week from April 14th to 18th and will get a full release sometime this summer. Anxious Overwatch fans will get one more shot at beta access this weekend as Blizzard opens its team-based shooter to another extended beta. While the stress test will only last from 9am Friday to 9pm Saturday, this may be players' last shot at getting their hands on the game before the pre-order beta kicks off May 5th to May 9th. If you're interested in being eligible for the beta, you can head over to your Battle.net account settings and flag your Overwatch. Now this won't guarantee access to the weekend's tests, and prior beta access or lack thereof will not affect your chances. Blizzard plans to flag all eligible accounts on Thursday, so keep those salt shakers handy until then. Overwatch launches for real on May 24th for Xbox One, PS4, and PC. And last up, while we don't usually promote Humble Bundles, this one is pretty great. Telltale has paired with Humble to bring a solid majority of their episodic story games to bundle pricing. Paying a dollar or more gets you the Back to the Future and the first Walking Dead season, as well as a few other titles. More than the average gets you Tales from the Borderlands and The Wolf Among Us, while the $12 tier gets you the Game of Thrones series and the second season of The Walking Dead. This is an excellent opportunity to get into any of the Telltale games you may have missed, or to get a friend into the genre for cheap. The bundle will be available until April 26th, and as with every Humble Bundle, a portion of the proceeds that you determine goes directly to charity. And that's it for today. Are you excited for the Overwatch beta, or are you not holding your breath? Let us know in the comments, and if you'd like to stay up on all the latest gaming news, subscribe to our channel and follow us on Twitter at GlitchFeed. We'll be back tomorrow with another Daily Glitch.